뭐야 둘이? 둘이 연애? editing and finish my textile printmaking assignments and upload them on my blog on this class blog and start the painting figure out the painting and edit the video I think okay this is a very tight schedule it's like one o'clock right now okay I'm just gonna I'm gonna zoom now bye I found somebody I say you don't cross my mind And she doesn't know that Your favorite place is still mine Now I take the long way home Avoid what I can let go about you but sometimes I do cause sometimes I drive through all of the streets we used to on first avenue cause sometimes okay I have worked on the outline I am lost I don't know what I want I think I got like a spark moment while I was painting and sketching sketching I don't know why but sketching doesn't help me very much when I paint, ideas flow to me, but when I sketch, I don't know what to do. That's what I do. I guess the truth is, I can't leave memories behind. I have finished editing. 820. I love editing. And I think I'm gonna go back painting. I think I might do not an all nighter, but I'll probably paint three late tonight. I, I really wanna finish this book. Close to finishing. So close. And it's been lingering in front of my desk, and I'm just like, I keep on staring, and I just want to... Mm -hmm. I read this book a long time ago, and I didn't... I read it when I was too young, I think. Like, I read it when I was in middle school, and I didn't particularly understand all of the emotion. But... Read this book, please. It's, it, it's breaking me up. So, I love emotional books. And I feel like Korean authors are really good at expressing sentiments that you never thought you would ever, you know, feel. Punches you just the right way. So. I don't always think about you till first avenue. That's when I do. I don't know what to do. Can we go somewhere? It's a little bit quieter than it is in our heads. Don't tell me. 
Give us the Let's grow us do that. Don't do that. Don't ever do that, okay? <laughs> My plan was to paint late, but I was like, no. So I'm going to work on a different thing. I'm going to work on a different project, which I'm very passionate about. I think i got to die down my passion a little bit to, so that I can realistically work on my more portrait projects. But, yeah. But I'm just going to do it. So I'm going to work on my art history project. It's 10 o'clock right now. Don't you know that you're on the lighthouse when it gets dark? Don't you know how much you make me smile? You say you're not worth much, but I think you're worth much more than my wife. Won't you run away? You know you're not happy in the place that you stay so. I'm scratching out all. I'm restarting. That's the thing. I'm restarting from the start. I'm doing it again. I hate it. So I'm gonna sketch a new idea. I hate all my ideas right now because it's a self-portrait, and I hate hate portraits. And I hate self-portraits, so... Yeah. Today's Wednesday. The painting's due on Monday. Yeah. I think before starting this painting, I had this meditative moment to myself to let go of my ego and just think realistically of what I need to do and what I have to do at the moment. And I was watching a bunch of inspirational artist videos or like realistic tips by artists on YouTube and it helped me clear my mind because I had a very anxious moment the night before um, on Tuesday night especially because I was feeling very down and frustrated about the progress that I made because I spent hours on doing the outline and doing the shading and all that and I, and I had this painting that I absolutely hated and I hated myself for it but I kind of regained myself after I figured out what I wanted to do because I think the major problem that I had before was I didn't know what I wanted to do and it felt nice to figure out what I needed and what I wanted to do and that's pretty much it. Um, I want to encourage people to just figure out what you want to do before, before just hopping right on because you feel like time is catching up to you. I think the main reason why I had a difficult time with this portrait was because it was my first time doing a portrait on canvas and it was my first time doing a self-portrait too. So I guess the first times is always difficult and it's always a learning curve. So. I had a difficult time just accepting that my painting was bad and then after I scratched out my first idea 
I think I kind of knew what I was bad with and had the trial time to understand what my skills were. And I think I tried to finesse the painting into what I can do. And yeah. So as an artist, it's best to know what you can and what you can't do. And I think this um, portrait did teach me what my limits were. And I, I think I pushed myself and learned a lot. I totally recommend doing a self-portrait. It, it's very eerie because it looks like me, but there's something wrong. I'm not quite sure what, but you would look at the painting and be like, something is wrong. And that feeling is not the best. It's Friday today. Sunday. I have to finish the painting no matter what because tomorrow it's um, critique day and I have to bring it to school, that big canvas. I need to figure out how I'm going to actually wrap it and bring it to school to be honest because it doesn't fit in my portfolio bag. So that's going to be a struggle and what else? Okay, yeah, and I don't know. I just need to change the background and I need to um, change up the skin tone a little bit because it's too yellow. And that's what I'll do. I'm not sure how long it will take. Right now it's 150. And I think I'm going to do it well over dinner time and all that. So we'll see what happens. And I have to pack before my class tomorrow because I have this um, studio session, painting session, so I have to pack everything too, so we'll see how that goes. Um, okay, good boy. I want to know how you Scent of your hair smells Just when I see your face I feel so misplaced I wonder if you have felt like this before I turn up my speaker And stretch out on the floor Every night you sing me to sleep Lullabies of places to meet I feel like just 
when the tape starts It's a dream It will never be Lying in bed And your sun comes on Your voice through my speakers Can really lead me on When I close my eyes I see you smile Sitting at my bedside Stay here tonight Still every night You sing me to sleep Lullabies of dreams that I keep Never realize until the tape stops was a dream It will never be I'm too lazy to do more than this. I don't care anymore. <laughs> Last night I finished painting at like almost 12. Well, I finished the painting at 11.30 ish. And I basically packed up all of the things because I have to take it out today to class. So I have to carry that big thing in transit all the way to um, class. And I am so not excited for that. Um, I wrapped it up with some newspaper, I packed some I packed extra newspaper just in case if I needed it and yeah, that's pretty much it so today's quit day so hopefully my professor would like it I am so, I was so stressed out about that painting the past week and I'm just glad I'm over with it and I can be, you know, free from the agony that I had the whole week. Um, but right now, I, I, I kind of feel happy with the outcome. It's really not that bad. Um, it's actually, if you look at it from afar, it looks actually pretty brilliant. But one thing I am feeling quite um, bummed out about is that the makeup, it's so basic, it's so, I don't know, it's so basic that it's, I just hate it because it's basic. I wanted to do something more crazy, like festive and all that, you know. But I knew that if I went that direction, I couldn't pull it off because I'm really bad at that kind of thing. So I just did what I could do, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so that happened. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this week's video. Um, so, I'll see you guys next week. I've been getting so many lovely comments. And it warms my heart when I see those comments. So, thank you to everyone who does comment down below. Um, 
yeah thank you